Honored as the country's top older Philly or mayor in 2003, one for Rose is the reigning queen of Canadian racing. To wear the crown, you have to beat her to the wire. And no Philly or mayor has done that in quite some time. They get another chance though today in the Ontario Matron. Here are Vinny Quitstakes. Open concert to One for Rose. In her first start of the season, One for Rose raced against the boys in the Eclipse Stakes. She rated just off the pace, but tired in the stretch. Down on the inside, Mark One is trying to inch up toward the rail. Open concert fully extended. Mark One's getting to open concert now. Mark One on the inside has taken the lead and will win the Eclipse. Well, she ran a good race, you know. Like, you know, she ran against boys. I don't know, run her there, you know, it was a tough race right away, first race, you know. I think she came up very short too, you know. She was chasing the front runner and sending for home, she got really tired. She worked twice since, you know, she worked 12 and 4, and she worked um, Monday, she worked 13 and 4, nice and easy in the mud, you know. She worked really good, she's going to the race really good. I think she's trained a little better this year, really. She's been working faster, you know. She looked stronger, you know, she's doing very good. She's a big mare. She trained really good all the time. She eat good, you know. What can I say, you know? Well, we got there by year. We see how the race gonna come up. We'll leave it up to the jock, Red Sammy. The Red Sammy know her a little better, right, you know. Like a uh, sub table, no better uh, winning chance, you know. That's an inside look at today's Ontario Matron Stakes. In the Ontario Matron Stakes, hand painted in between horses, one for Rose, into the outside, winning chance as they pass under the wire for the first time, and it's hand painted. And Robert Landry, well off the rail, as they head into the clubhouse turn, floated out there in the three path. One for Rose, now back in second position, winning chances third, three and a half lengths off the lead, then Miss Santa Anita. And that's a slow opening quarter mile for hand painted of 24 seconds flat. Landry's trying to steal this in the front end with hand painted, but here comes a one for Rose now, getting aggressive to the outside. To the extreme outside, winning chance is a closer third as they continue that journey along the back stretch. One for Rose comes to the throat latch of hand painted at the midpoint of the back stretch. And that opening half mile was in 48 and one fifth. That's a slow opening half mile as one for Rose comes on to the outside of hand painted and those two are locked in a duel as they head into the turn hand painted kicks away by a neck now. One for Rose counters and comes back. Ram Sammy takes a peek back and sees the gray shadow of winning chance who looms into contention now with a quarter of a mile to go. One for Rose has taken over from hand painted and it's a sprint to the wire now. One for Rose into the lane. Ram Sammy's getting into her. One for Rose by two. 
Winning chances in an auto drive, hand painted, has faded. Winning chance desperately trying to catch one for Rose, but one for Rose digs down deep and out sprints. Winning chance to the wire, one for Rose of the Ontario Matron Stakes. Winning chance second and hand painted third. The unofficial result of the third race, the winner, number three, one for Rose. Four winning a chance was second, and number two, hand painted was third, and one Miss Santa Anita was fourth. Running time, 144 and one fifth.